Welcome to the XL Moto Garage. I'm Vanessa Ruck, and today we are going to be looking at three full face helmets, all available for under 400 euros. Today we are looking at three full face motorcycle helmets that you can get your hands on for under 400 euros. Now motorcycle safety is a really important part for us riders out on the road because you want to keep your head safe if that unexpected tumble does happen. So today we are going to be looking at offerings from Bell, HJC and Nex for keeping your head safe. There are lots of things to consider when you're looking at motorcycle helmets, from the functionality that you're after as a rider, any extras such as visors, anti-fog, what sort of underclasp you want on the fastening. But let's go through these offerings and see why they could be the ideal option for you. First up, let's look at the HJC C70. Now, this is probably the most economical in the range that we're looking after today, but it does come with some really quite handy features as a rider. We've got full vents on the top of the helmet, and we have an integrated visor for when the sunshine comes in on your ride. The visor is pin lock ready. It doesn't come with that, but that's an extra that you can get. And it does have interchangeable visors. Weight wise, you're looking at 1450 grams, which places it middle in the playing field that we've got here. Thousands of colored options. We know coordination is very important for us bikers, so you can uh, find the style that you are after. It is also five star sharp, safety rated so it's the highest safety rating on that sharp scale this one comes with two shell sizes so if you've got a slightly smaller or larger head on the scale it's going to look a little bit more normal to your size unique to the hjc in this lineup is the fastening that we have underneath the helmet the rest of the playing field have double d but this one has a quick release clasp which is very good when you've got bulky gloves on. And it still, of course, meets all the right safety standards. The next offering is from Nex. So we have the XG100R. Now this is a retro looking full face helmet. So if you are after that smooth, slick, clean, minimalistic lines, then this could be the option for you. This is the evolution from the XG100. So this is the R version, which stands for racer. It doesn't have a pin lock design on the visor, but it has got some very sleek air vent functionality. So there's an air vent on the chin, which inside the helmet has the operation to open and close that. Nothing on the surface, but that is the design that you're going for. It's slick, it's clean, and it's retro. As far as the sharp rating, it is four out of the five stars. The inner lining is removable should you want to wash it, and it is also a very lightweight helmet, a 135, coming in the lightest on the three helmets that we are looking at today. The visor has a little catch for your fingers and your gloves. It's a little bit stiff right now because this is a brand new helmet, and I anticipate that will loosen up with use. This one is composite fiber, but if you want to put a little bit more money into your helmet, you can get a full carbon version of this. In a lineup of more aggressive motorcycle helmets, I think the retro look is going to be the key selling point for this helmet. If it's the slick, sleek design that you're after, it does have some great helmet functionality as well. It's down to an appearance one, I reckon. Next, we have the Bell RS. Now, this is the next generation of the R1, and it is a fantastic all-round helmet. It's designed to give you that full rider functionality. Now, it is the most expensive in the lineup that we are looking at today. So let's talk through some of the features. You've got an interchangeable visor, so you can get different options on colors, for example. You have an inbuilt sunglasses functionality going on in there. Fantastic when the weather changes when you're riding along. Full ventilation across the top of the helmet and also the chin. And we're looking at a double D fastening system with removable inside lining should you need to give it a wash. Weight wise, it is coming in as the heaviest here in our under 400 euros, but it is also a four out of five sharp star safety racing, which is gonna keep your head on the safe side. 
The double D, something I want to emphasize here, which is cool, is it's got a little magnet. So when you're putting it on, it will just pull the end away and keep it nice and tidy. No flapping and no faffing. And of course, being a Bell helmet, there are going to be a lot of different color options on this helmet so that you can coordinate for the look that you're after. The HJC C70 features a polycarbonate shell, sharp five-star safety rating, drop-down sun visor, pin lock ready visor with insert not included, double D-ring fastener and weighs in at 1,600 grams, plus or minus 50 grams, depending on the shell size. The next XG100R is a retro full-face helmet with a sharp four-star safety rating, class one optically correct visor, composite fiber and full carbon version also available, closable chin vent, weighing in at 1,350 grams with a five-year warranty. The Bell RS2 is a fiberglass full-face helmet. Features include drop-down sun visor, sharp three-star safety rating, double D ring fastener, and weighs 1,500 grams. There we have it, three affordable options under 400 euros. Now, all three of these helmets are available on the XL Moto website. Now, when it comes to picking a motorcycle helmet, it can be quite personal, but fingers crossed this video has given you a little bit of an insight into some of the options, whether it's going full retro or having a little bit more functionality with inside sunglasses. Please do get in the comments below and let us know what you think. What helmet do you ride in? Are any of these helmets something that you are considering or already own? Let us know and please do hit subscribe and tick that bell for notifications. Thanks so much for joining us here in the XL Moto Garage and we look forward to seeing you for the next episode. I'm Vanessa Ruck, over and out from XL Moto.